In this video, we will have a look at some of the changes coming with the latest iteration of Cherish OS 4.1 Android 13 Custom ROM. Cherish OS brings you the latest October security patch level and more customizations to make your smartphone extra fun. Stick to the end as later on, I am going to show you how to install the new update over your current Cherish OS build without data loss. For more videos like this, remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Without further ado, let us dig into some of the notable features as per the released Cherish OS 4.1 changelog. If you like tweaking how the power menu appears on the screen, you now have lots of options to choose from, all from the animations section. In addition, you can choose to animate QS tiles to either flip or rotate when changing the status. Further, you can adjust the animation duration and change the tiles animation interpolator to your preferred option. As for the power menu, you get to set the opacity level and the amount of dim for the dialog background. Even better, users can now enjoy custom Monet theming options from Proton OS. This will come in handy when you need to dial the color settings to your specifics. With the screen off, you can opt to switch on the torch by either double taping or long pressing the power button. Not knowing the battery level of your connected Bluetooth device is not something any of us wants. For that reason, Cherish OS has provided a toggle that enables Bluetooth battery status on the main Bluetooth settings and QS tile sections. For those of us who find privacy indicators intrusive, you now have the relevant toggles to turn them on or off to match your likes. Normally, time on the status bar is just plain and maybe boring but not anymore. With the accented background chip, time is more outstanding. Whenever you need a clean and more tailored status bar, you have the freedom to pick which icons get displayed on the status bar. Normally, even when you have multiple notifications from the same app, you may not know how many pending messages you have until you pull down the notifications panel. Luckily, you need not hassle with that anymore as you can just enable the nifty option that shows you the notification count from each app on the status bar. Of course, there are even more changes and features to enjoy from Cherish OS. If your device happens to have a maintainer for this amazing ROM, you are assured of a better experience and overall autonomy compared to the stock ROM. Which feature were you looking forward to the most? Leave a comment down below with your answer. And now, here is how to update from your current Cherish OS build to the latest October SPL without losing data. Keep in mind that this method assumes that you have a custom recovery that supports data decryption or have a working OTG or SD card. First, copy the new Cherish OS build zip file to your device, OTG, or SD card. Next, reboot your device into recovery. Next, open the install menu, then locate and select the zip file. After that, swipe to confirm flash and wait for the installation process to complete. Last but not the least, wipe cache, Dalvik cache, and reboot system.
And boom, you are now on the latest Cherish OS build. Thank you for staying with me to the end and I hope you have benefited from this video. Give a thumbs up if you like the video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Catch you on the next one.